Yo! Two videos in a day. Um, maybe three if I get baggage from Good Call 6 today. Which I'm still mad at you about because I told you no goddamn presents. No presents from anybody. Please. None. Please. Don't do it. Um, I'm bored. 7.25 in the morning. <laughs> I'm awake. I slept for... 15 hours yesterday. <laughs> I went to bed around... This was Sunday going into Monday. I went to bed around 1 a.m. <clears throat> woke up around 9.30. Fell back to sleep around noon. Woke up at 4.30. Fell back to sleep around 7.30. Woke up at 11.30, quarter to 12. And I've been up ever since. So, I'm well rested. <laughs> <coughs> but <clears throat> anyways I'm bored I'm gonna do a Stotty Boy top 10 PC cards I guess I don't know I technically have 5 PCs I guess I don't know I got my Indians PC my Browns PC and then my random basketball, football, baseball, and hockey. And UFC, I guess, too. This is whatever I feel like getting, really. That's Cleveland is my main teams, but I like to get other stuff. You know how it is. Um, probably going to be a 20-minute video, because I like to chit-chat. I like to show off my shit. No. What I'm gonna do? So kick back, grab a drink, grab a bite. To eat. God, I got the hiccups. Bite to eat. I guess enjoy. I'm gonna start off with basketball. Most of these are top ten, but my basketball is only top five because it's small, but it's stout. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Number five. A Panini private signings. I pulled this out of a box of Reds. My friend Bobby just messaged me on Facebook. And it's private signings of a guy who's playing fairly well this year in his new team in Dallas. Monte Ellis. On card. Horrible glare. Woot. Bam. So that's number five for basketball. Number four, also pulled this myself. Actually, I pulled my entire basketball. <laughs> Top five. Uh, 2012 Panini Contenders rookie autograph of Kemba Walker. One of my favorite players in the NBA and when he was in college. Not a UConn fan, I just love the way the kid plays. Well, Anthony wants that, but he would prefer it in a Connecticut uniform, so. I respect it, bruh. But I still like showing it off to you. <laughs> so next one. Pulled this. 2010. Uh, 2010 Crown Royale. Crown Royal, Crown Royale. On card. Rookie autograph. Stephen Curry. Probably. My favorite player. That isn't on the Cavaliers. Love Steph Curry. He's a beast. Next one. Got this one in today. Number 5 of 199 if you saw my video earlier. With the streaky autograph. Mr. Blake Griffin who is killing it this year. See how it's all like streaky and not as full as the B or R or whatever the hell that is. Still a nice card though. Pulled that myself. Like I said, I, these five cards I all pulled myself. And then the big boy, the one who's making this card very expensive right now, from 2010 Prestige Basketball, number one of 25, Kevin Love. Having a monster, monster year right now. So glad I held on to this. Sorry, men lovers. Love you, but 
I'm happy I hung out with this. <laughs> Next, my baseball. Baseball's kind of weak, but uh, I'm putting a lot on my Indians. That's why. Number ten, I just love this thing. I pulled it myself as well. Number seven of twenty-five, Red Ice. Mr. Ben Revere. That again is seven to twenty-five. Next one, sentimental card for me. Got this from Midlovers Two. He just oh, he just sent it to me. So I love you for that. Played high school ball against him and summer ball with him. Of Florida Marlins or Miami Marlins second baseman, I think he's back in the minors now. But this is numbered 90 of 125 of Derek Dietrich, Parma, Ohio's own. Ten minutes that way. So very sentimental for me, knowing that I played with him and against him. Derek Dietrich. Next one on card. This team bag is booty. Need to change that. Garbage. On card, first Bowman Chrome of Archie Bradley. It's number eight. Number seven from Upper Deck Trilogy, number 12 of 35 of Hall of Famer Andre Dawson. Very nice, clean autograph. Kind of looks like it says Clyde, though. Something like that. It looks like it would say Clyde Dawson. <laughs> but Andre Dawson numbered 12 to 35. Number 7. Yes, number 7. Number 6. When I first pulled this card, I was like, damn it. I got a Detroit Tigers. <laughs> and I hate the Tigers with all my heart. Do not like them. I hate them as much as I hate the Steelers. Sorry, Dr. Feelgood. Um, and then he got traded to the White Sox. I was like, damn it. <laughs> he went from one rival to the other. <laughs> but uh, only one of his new cards in the new Top Triple Threads. It says Baby Miggy or Miggy Jr., one of those. I think it's Miggy Jr. On card, Bowman Chrome Auto of Avasil Garcia. This kid is a tank. Like... When I, I saw one of the last games of the year against the White Sox, and he was up the bat. He swings the bat exactly like Miguel Cabrera, and he crushed it about 440 feet at Jacobs Field, so progressive field. But obviously Garcia is going to be an animal for the White Sox. I'm envious of that. <laughs> Number five. I wish I still had my other gold refractor, the Oscar Tavares, but I still love this one a little bit more, but this is a gold refractor, or yellow refractor, just for you, Ben. Number 17 of 50 of Garrett Cole. I said, I still wish I had the Tavares, but, you know, I got something for it later on in this video. Next one, this guy's name is what pisses me off so much. I don't know what it is. I hear it's Jed Yorko. I hear Jed Yorko, Jed Jayorko, Jed Yorko, Jed Jayorko, Jed Guyorko. I don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. I say Jed Yorko. I'm going to continue to say Jed Yorko just because I feel like it. But this is a 2010 or 2011 Bowman Chrome Refractor Autograph, number 458 of 500, BGS graded 95 with a 10 autograph. But I have another, I, I have like a mini Jed Yorko piece. I got like three or four autos of him already, so maybe that'll turn into something. Who knows? That was number four. Number three, we got this one from my buddy Wormburner, who I have a package going out very, very soon, Andrew. Better wait. <laughs> and um, this is my first and only 
tribute hit from 2011 Tops Tribute, number 90 of 99, one of my childhood players that I used to watch. Bat Relic autograph of Mr. Barry Larkin. Watch out for that, Andrew. I know it's been a while, I'm behind, but it's coming. <laughs> and you know how I do it with packages. Next one, number two. Got this one in a group break. My best friend Ben pulled this. I told him, I'm only getting in your group break if you pull me one. Obviously, that was a joke. And, uh,. I guess he took that joke seriously and he pulled it for me. And uh, I'm really, really high on this kid. I think he has potential to be the next Jeter. I know that's a steep statement, but I think he's going to be great. On card, 2012, Bowman, my favorite product of last year, of prospect shortstop Addison Russell. So, big props to my boy Ben. I know that was only a joke when I said to you, but hey, cool. <laughs> and number one, you guys should all know what it is, of my non-Cleveland team baseball hits. Probably the biggest pull of my life. It is a 2012 Bowman Chrome on-card rookie autograph of the Phenom. Dervish. So that is my non Cleveland baseball. Now on to my non Cleveland football. Looking at this the side out of my top three. I think it's kinda weak. <laughs> and I wanna change that. I wanna change that very, very badly. But we'll see where it goes. I wish you could start it off. Number 10 from 2012 certified. Number 12 of 49. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 break. 4, four color, 7 break patch. The Mr. Bernard Pierce. You see black, purple, gold, white, gold. Smidgen of purple and then more black at the top. Filthy. Got that paid. Eight bucks for this at a show, I think. I think it was eight bucks I paid. The guy gave me like a half off deal. It was the last hour of the show, and they always, some of the guys do like half off for the last hour. And uh, still had this on his table, and I snagged it. But Bernard Pierce, filthy patch. Number nine. <clears throat> uh, not numbered, but I just love his autograph. This is what it is. 2008 Donruss Playoff Hall of Famer wide receiver Charlie Joyner. Boom. Another Hall of Fame wide receiver. 1999 Upper Deck on card. SP Signature Edition. Don Maynard. And I only threw this card in here because I told everybody. That when this guy gets drafted or comes into the league, he's going to be a beast. And everybody told me that I was a jackass for thinking that. <laughs> this guy came out of college. I wanted to hit the Browns to draft him in the third round when he came out. And everyone was like, no, no, no. He has character issues. He can't keep his, his, uh, his emotions under control. And he's a dirty player. And I told him. Our front office is going to get him in check, just like they've gotten Josh Gordon in check, and Quentin Groves in check, and Desmond Bryant in check, three guys who all have character issues, and this guy was going to be a beast, and he is. He led his team in tackles his very first year playing last year, and I want him on my team still. This is 2012 Panini Contenders of linebacker. Vontez Perfect. Complete beast. 140-some tackles last year. Doesn't have a stats. 140-some tackles last year. 
animal. And I told everybody from day one that he was going to be a beast. Look what happened. Sign me up, ESPN. <laughs> I'm smarter than these dumbasses who are like, Oh, Brandon Weed's going to be a star quarterback. Really? Really? I love you, Weed, but you need to go. <laughs> Next, number 2 of 50 from 2010 certified. My secret PC. Patch from the Shirt Off My Back series of Kent State's own Antonio Gates. Went to school right down the road from me, about a half hour. I want to get more of his stuff. Next, this is top five. This is from 2010 Donruss Classics. The 2010 Classics. Ooh, I almost dropped it. 2010 Classics, number nine of ten. Recently deceased, unfortunately. He died, I think, two weeks ago, I think it was. Of Oakland Raiders tight end who should be in the Hall of Fame Todd Christensen one of my favorite old timers him Jack Lambert as much as he played for the Steelers I I, I love Jack Lambert Chuck Ben Narek Todd Christensen was one of my favorites that is numbered 9 of 10 so I'm very happy he got that as I said it's unfortunate he passed away he was all 53 years old, so uh, that card really means a lot to me now, and uh, I'm going to continue. Number four, ignore the price tag on this because it's nowhere near what I paid for it. Uh, this card was going for a lot of money a few years ago when he was destroying the league, and I kind of don't know what happened. He kind of just fell off. It is a three-color, four-break patch autograph on card auto from SP Authentic of Maurice Jones Drew. So the sticker says $100. There's another sticker underneath it that says $200. <laughs> so this was a very, very hot card a few years ago. There it is. Next, number three. I need to get a case for this. Until then, it's sitting away from everything else so it doesn't get damaged. But uh pulled this a month and a half ago, I'd say, almost two months ago. Numbered 11 of 102 from 2013 Prominence. Piece of crap product, man. I don't know how I pulled this. This is one of the best folds you could get from uh at the time. This guy's stuff has dropped since he got injured. But it is a rookie class Letterman autograph of EJ Manuel. Like I said, it was a very, very big pull for me about two months ago. <laughs> and since then, he's kind of just you know, kind of tailed off. But uh, stuff still sells, so yay for me. <laughs> Number two, I'm going to take this out of the mag because this mag sucks. <laughs> but, uh... From 2012, Rookies and Stars, probably my second biggest poll ever. Number 12 of 49. Struggled last night. But, uh. Is that numbered. What was it out of again? Oh, 19 of 49. Jersey autograph of Mr. Robert Griffin. I love the way that card looks. I want to get more of these. I, just, I loved last year's Rookies and Stars set. Again, it's... Ugh, rare. 19 of 49. Mr. RG3. And numero uno. Of the miscellaneous football collection. This is the card I got for my Oscar Tavares. Gold Refractor. Yellow refractor. And, uh. Still rather happy that I did it. Because this guy is absolutely destroying it. I hate his team. Because they have Trent Richardson. 
Trent Richardson is a bum who uh, just likes to dance around in the backfield and uh, not do jack squat. So we traded him, so Indianapolis Colts. Thank you for the first round pick. I appreciate it so much. I cut my finger yesterday. But anyway, thank you so much for the first round pick for a guy who's going to sit on your bench behind Donald Brown. <laughs> <coughs> And do nothing but get you one yard touchdowns. But uh this is the card I got for the Oscar Tavares Gold Refractor. Number twenty of three ninety nine. Mr. Andrew. I talk like a read hard. Andrew Luck. No Ben would like that. Ben hates Andrew Luck. You just hearing Ben talk about Andrew Luck just brings so much joy to me. It brings so funny. Because Andrew Luck seriously just sounds like he's just like uh, yeah, I, I just threw the ball and we got a touchdown and we won. But, uh, that's number one for, uh, miscellaneous football. Moving on. The only two that are left my Cleveland Browns and Cleveland Indians PCs. Now, recently. Everyone told me that I have a very, very, very disgusting Cleveland Browns collection. I take pride in my Cleveland Browns collection. My walls are painted with a Cleveland Browns helmet. I live and breathe and die Cleveland Browns football. I went to the Pittsburgh Steelers game this weekend. I'd rather not talk about it because that was really, really bad. Besides Josh Gordon, that was really, really bad. But I think at this time, in this time of my life of collecting... I think I could truthfully say that even though my Browns collection is probably five times bigger than my Cleveland Indians collection, my Indians collection is far more quality than my Cleveland Browns collection. I take pride in both of them. I'm focusing on my Indians PC right now. The Browns are just kind of just a dagger in my back every single week. <laughs> they started off so good. And now we're just kind of, and it's just, well, this past weekend was so hard. I could not get, and then next week, oh my god. I don't, <laughs> we're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't think I can get drunk enough to watch next week's game. <laughs> it's going to be, it, it, it's it's going to be bad. And, you know, Whedon came in, he, uh, Had a couple good passes. He led us on a drive. And then we got sacked for like 12 yards. And we got out of field goal range and we forced the punt. And then the next drive down the field, we run two plays right up the middle and run into, into friggin' Ziggy Hood and Lawrence Timmons and all the, all the dudes on their team who are good. And then, oh my god, I'm so... Like I don't get I love Whedon. I've always I always wanted him I wanted him. I wanted him on my team. But not in the first round. And uh first play on the next drive, Jordan Cameron runs a five route curl route. A five yard curl route. And what does Brandon Whedon do? Throws it like a fastball. And hits Jordan Cameron right in his goddamn face mask. <laughs> Why do you have to throw it so damn hard when there's nobody by him? Put some touch on it. Like, I just, like, oh, I was sitting there, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh, I have so much money invested into him. <laughs> it just, it, it just, it hurts. It hurts so much. I put so much money and effort into, into collecting him, and I, I, I have... I think I'm the only Brandon Whedon collector, I guess you could say. Like, really, who else has more than 10 Brandon Whedon autographs than me? I mean, there's Klee cards, but, you know, we're not going to go there. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was mean. Anywho, it just sucks knowing that I put so much money into him, and, and it's not really going to amount to anything. Unfortunately, but I can still say 
<laughs> it's kind of funny. I could say I have one of the nastiest Tim Couch PCs, and I have one of the nastiest Brandon Whedon PCs. <laughs> Who says that? Me. <laughs> Anywho, I'm not going to waste any more. I'm at 25 minutes already. Good lord. If you watch this whole thing, I thank you. This is my Cleveland. I'm doing my Cleveland Browns collection because I feel my Indians collection has surpassed it. They're both awesome. I love them both dearly. But I'm going to kick this off. Number 10. My favorite player on the Cleveland Browns. And if we trade him or don't sign him when his contract is up, I'm going to flip. I'm probably going to change this room into the Cleveland Indians colors. If that happens. But this is from 2010. Prestige. Rubber helmet auto of Mr. Joe Hayden. Absolute beast. Who was still hung over from last week's amazing game against Cincinnati. Well, he had an amazing game. We didn't. <laughs> Two interceptions, including a touchdown. Shut down A.J. Green. And this week he kind of just fell on his face. They all, Every player has those kind of games. It happens. I'm not worried. He'll bounce back next week against... Cecil Shorts, Mountain Union alumni. That's another game I'm looking forward to. We're playing uh, Cecil, who actually I partied with, because my buddy was a Mountain Union. And uh, number nine, number 148 of 299. I'm so glad I have these cards. From 2012 Limited of the Phenom, the Cleveland Browns. Josh Gordon, he, he's he's an animal, and I'm saying top five wide receiver in the NFL right now, because he's putting up 240 yards with Jason Campbell, Brandon Whedon, Brian Hoyer as his quarterbacks, he's 12 yards away from 1,000 yards, and he's putting up the numbers that he's putting up with these quarterbacks, <laughs> imagine what he would do with Peyton Manning. Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers or Andrew Luck. Imagine what would happen. But Josh Gordon, 2011 Limited, number nine. Number eight. Uh, from 2012 uh, Prism, 272 of 499. Oh, Josh Gordon. I don't know what this dot thing is over here. See, that's a piece of dirt. I don't know what it is. I'll have to take this thing out and clean it. Look at that. She's like, what is that? Anywho. Boom. Josh Gordon from Prism. Number eight. Number seven. I got this from my good buddy Ryan. Down in the What up? I haven't talked to you in a while. Number 104 of 135. Laundry tag auto of Mr. Greg Little from Exquisite. Finally coming around this year. He's not dropping a lot of balls. He had a couple bad games. You know, it happens. But Mr. Greg a little exquisite. Laundry tag auto. This is number this is number six. This thing used to be number one. And it's still one of my most sentimental cards. Numbered ten of ten from two thousand ten certified. The last card I bought from my buddy Joe's card shop. Two color patch autograph of Mr. Paul Warfield. And yes, that is what it goes for. But Paul Warfield, two color patch autograph and certified. My favorite year is certified. Certified as an ass this year. Almost all the products are ass this year. I hate them. Besides momentum, ugh. 10 of 10. Besides momentum and rookies and stars, I'm Donruss Elite. Um. Prism is ass. I don't like Absolute really that much. Uh, Playbook is horrible. But what, I don't even know what other products came out this year. Panini is just dropping the ball this year. I don't like it. <sighs> Continuing. Number five, this card has skyrocketed in value because all three players are playing great this year. It's from 2011 Threads. Number one of ten. Triple autograph of Mr. Phil Taylor, Greg Little, and Jordan Cameron. Again, that is one of ten. Number four, 
Got this as a gift from Anthony and Josh. J2EA. You assholes. <laughs> from 2012 Prism. Number one, one of one, as Josh says. Or as everybody says. But I remember Josh saying that the last time. Uh, Finite Super Fractor. I, guess, I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Anthony's told me a bajillion times. But it's a one of one of Mr. Greg Little. Boom. Who no longer wears number 15 because Devon Best is a bitch and wanted his number. He's now number 18. Carlton Mitchell's old number. But Greg Little. I don't know if you're going to see it. But one of one. There's somewhere. There it is. One of one. Number three. This card is also shot up in value. And, uh, this is Josh Gordon from Absolute, number 20 of 25. Number three. Number two. I need to get some new magnetics, guys. Man. From 2013 National or 2012 National Treasures. Souvenir cuts of the greatest all time quarterback ever. Seven championships, eight appearances. Otto Graham. And that is numbered 12 of 33. Oh. Number one, the payback from getting Ben, Eli Manning autograph. From the 2008 Donruss Classics, number 10 of 20. The greatest running back to ever, ever play the game. There's the autograph of Mr. Jim Brown. Number uno of my Cleveland Browns PC. And now the Super Mojo. That I call my Cleveland Indians. This is top 12 because I couldn't decide. God, 33 minutes. This is from this year's Bowman Platinum number 40, 48 of 399 on card autograph of our next big thing. Danny Salazar. Absolutely killed it. And, uh,. Short time that he was with us, and I cannot wait to watch the rest of. Or can't watch the guy blah blah blah. Can't wait to watch him this season. Number eleven. Not the most in, in value, but probably the most sentimental Indians card I have. My favorite player of all time, on card autograph, and oh my God, he is now also a coach on the Detroit Tigers. That. When I figured out this guy was coaching on the Tigers now, it was like he just took a knife and just, just put it right in my heart. I was so just I, I was so pissed off. Like, why did we not offer him a contract? But he's the newly acquired assistant coach of the Detroit Tigers. My favorite player ever, Omar Vizquel. It's not going to be the same seeing you with that D on your forehead that stands for dumbass. <laughs> As Mark was said, a boy or D. Number 10. My favorite card of this player. I'm really big on him. I got quite a bit of his autographs. This is from 2012 Prime Sit. Or, what is this? 2012 Signature Series. 
piece of crap product, but has some really nice cards in it if you find them. This is a Sweet Spot autograph, numbered 204 of 299 of Mr. Trevor Bauer. But the thing of not signing directly centered on a card, he always is a little bit to the left. Don't know if that's saying something, but he's always a little bit to the side. Worried about you, Trevor. Number 10, number 9. Again, another gift <coughs> from my boy Ben. He's a piece of shit for doing it. I thought he sold it, but he sent it to me. <laughs> it's from the 2012 National Treasures Baseball. Who was a damn good product. I don't care what people say about it. It is a booklet. And I hope this guy turns it around next year. It wasn't that great this year. But it's number 20 of 25. You see the name. I know it says ain't Atlanta on it. But he's an Indian and this card is filthy. Black. Black. Disgusting Tomahawk. I would think partly Cloudy wants this, or Andrew, or all you other Braves fans out there. But sick, filthy, disgusting patch of Michael Bourne. Gotta get a booklet case for that. That's number nine. I think. Yeah, nine. Number eight, I got this from my good buddy Brad, who also has a package going out in a few weeks. I'm going to try and get it out for Christmas, but if not, I am doing Christmas packages this year, but you might not get them for Christmas. You might get them a little bit after Christmas. Just a forewarning. This is number 61 of 99. From 2012 Prime Cuts. That's where I got mixed up with the power. Um, souvenir Cuts autograph of Mr. Bob Feller. Greatest Indian pitcher ever. Again, it's number 61 of 99. Number 8. 6, 5, 4. What is this? No, that was number 8. No. God damn it. Oh! 2, 4. Okay, Feller was number 7. Eight, nine. The scale was number ten. Okay, this is top eleven, not twelve. <laughs> number six from two thousand and ten. Bowman Chrome on card refractor autograph. Mr. Jason Kipney. Card that can only skyrocket or go down. Which I hope it skyrockets. Because he was phenomenal this year for us. I hope he continues to play that. Again, he also signs a little bit to the side. Don't know if that's just saying something for him, but try to get a little bit more centered, guys. <laughs> Number five. I am so excited for this kid to come up and play in the majors. I was talking to Ben about it today. I cannot wait. Because this guy is going to be a top five shortstop the next 20 years. Maybe 15. 20 is probably a reach. Next 15 years, this guy is going to be one of the best to play at shortstop. It is a triple patch, two color, three color, three color, number 28 of 50, yeah, 28 of 50 from Tops USA Baseball. Francisco Lindor. He is going to be a beast. I'll put money on it. As Dribble Cabrera, he's gone after this year. Because he's going to come up. Maybe even with Dorsus Paulino, but I think he's still a little too rough fielding. Dorsus Paulino can't field for shit. He got a great bat, can't field for anything. But Lindor's going to be up next year after this coming season. Because Drew Cabrera has gone from one of the best in the game to booty in a matter of three years. <laughs> now, my top four. 
It's all of one player. My favorite player on the Indians right now, Carlos Santana. Number four, Redemption. Still waiting for it. I hope it gets made. If not, I'll be like, yo, send me a Carlos Santana. And uh, this is 2013 Museum Collection. Momentous Material Jumbo Relic Autograph. I think they're out of 10. I believe they're out of 10. And uh, I hope this is like one of the nastiest cards of my collection when it comes in. But knowing me, it's going to be a one color jersey or a bat piece. But I hope it's a patch. I believe that's a redemption. I don't have it yet. So that's going to be number four. Number three. Number two. And number one, you're going to see a theme. <laughs> Number three, I bought this card for a steal of a price when I got it. It is from... Ugh, get, get on the... Ugh, 2012 Topps Chrome. One of one. Super Fractor. falling out of the case. But yes, that is number three. So you're thinking, Superfractor is number three. So it's number two and one. But just real quick, Carlos Santana. Uno de uno. Number two. Two thousand twelve Tops Triple Threads. One of one. Take it out of the feedback too. Woodback. Or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. But it's wood. Of Mr. Carlos Santana. One of one. Two color, three color, three color, barely. It's a miracle when Carlos Santana gets his entire autograph on a card and it doesn't run off. I just got it on there. Boom, number two. And number one. Also, from 2012, Tops Triple Threads. Favorite card, my Cleveland Indians PC, aside from the Omar, White Whale, one of one. Carlos and Hannah, three color, four break, three color, four break. Actually, I think this is all just one gigantic patch. If you look, the 41, and the C in the middle, it's all one patch. So this is probably probably his nameplate. That would be my guess. But Carlos and Hannah White Whale. One of one. Boom. That is it. That is my top ten, top five of all of my PCs. 45 minute video. This thing is going to have probably five views. And three of them are going to be bent. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. I'm going to go relax. Last day off before uh, this Thanksgiving uh, week. I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it's going to be some very long hours. <laughs> so, I'm going to be dead again come next week. Probably sleep another 15 hours next next Monday. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. If I don't, if I'm not back on later today with the package or from Matt. Just digging around like now. 
everybody have the same holiday. Eat as much turkey as you can for me because I'll be at work. It's going to suck. But, uh, be cool, be easy, YouTube.